So go slow, go slow, instead of fast. Duck under. Good. Now feel your head. Look, 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 yeah. look this way. Yeah. Nice. Do you feel that pressure? Good. Now let's go over the top of the arm. You can lock underneath. No, no, not that two-on-one. Just go on the outside. And then now slide the wrist. And then bring your head to this side. Now you can't elbow your face. So now it's, the trips are super easy. You can do front trip. Yeah, I don't go in the back. You can do front trip like that. There's many ways I do it, but I use the inside of my knee on the side of his knee. I buckle his knee in as I shift, as I shift, you see how that works? And then I also stick my leg out so that I don't have to uh, put my knee on the ground. Like this is what I would do on concrete. Yes, exactly. And that way I don't have to get my pants dirty. <laughs> What's up, guys? What, what was one of your first days at PG? Um, it was this move. So, you're gonna come in my... So, you're gonna get them to make one of these come up, and then you're gonna bring that leg in. And come in. Whoa, that was like kind of weird. For are you sure? First day? Are you sure you got it right? No. It's no, been a while. It's like been that. a while. I'm like, I get it all the time. I'm surprised you remember that much. <laughs> I wouldn't. There's no way. Okay, so what was one of the moves you learned on your first day at PG um, because I'm so weird? The first day we did the duck under and then the sit and trip. And I believe it was the third day a move that I remember. Okay, show me that duck under, sit and trip. Okay. What, what is that? So we're from an inside okay. tie up. We might be both insides or we'll be inside and outside. Come back over, uh, Brian, whenever you're. Okay, guys, teach me grappling. Brian Peterson here. We are talking about how weird as a coach I am uh, that I teach wacky things too much and sometimes I don't do basics. As you guys know, I've been doing some basics lately, but sometimes I do teach wacky things, even to beginners on their first day sometimes. So we're gonna go back to Leo and we're gonna find out what he learned on his first day because I have no memory of it. And here he is. All right, so come on over, Brian. So we were from inside and outside or inside tie up. Right? Inside okay, line. what did I teach you? You taught that we step in with the back foot and as we lift, we duck under. To get to the back, we get a gable grip and as the guy tries to circle with me, I'm going to sit and trip while tripping this far foot here. Shoot, I don't even remember that. So that's what, I, that's, that's what you taught okay, me. Okay, show me that footwork again. Oh. Show me the footwork. The, the footwork again, I'm a little, from the inside tie up. I'm a little foggy the side on that. that I'm going to come into, wherever my inside tie is. If I have both, I can choose, but I'm going to choose this side just for... for that's space. okay. And then the back foot of the other side, which is the other foot. Really? I'm going to step in from here so that I can okay. lift and I'll have room to get in. Okay. And then I'll come in. Okay. Now, I'm going to call BS on this, but it's okay. <laughs> it's all right. So this is the thing about learning. It's like you ask someone, you go, what did you learn? And then they repeat it back to you. It's like the game of telephone, right? Oh, yeah. And something, something gets changed. So... I don't want you to do that back leg step. I, I honestly, I, I never would have showed that. But no? No, not that back leg step. So, so from here, this one comes in. No, so that you can no. Back under. Then that would be a huge telegraph. I, I just, I wouldn't do that. You know what? I, I, here's what I think you probably mistake, mistook it for. Okay, here. So if I was showing on a, on a, on a footwork, moving my feet, what I would probably show is, I would probably show stepping like this because this is an explosive uh, drill where you go back and forward, back and forward. Like for example, just open your arms, to shoot double legs. Like so I'm here and I practice. Pound my foot into the mat, double. Pound my foot into the mat, double. Pound, double, pound, double. So there might have been something like this here. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. I, I don't think I would ever, I'm 100% I'm sure actually, I would never do this, you know? So that's what I mean, how the, the telephone game, maybe it gets, it gets changed. So it's also been a long I'll time. take your word for it, coach. Okay, so, so Brian, back to you now. Now, what do you remember from the first time I ever taught you 
What What do you remember? Oh man! D- don't do, can you do that one again? Maybe maybe. I don't remember what position it started from. I don't remember if it was mount or not. Yeah, oh, this is this is bad, guys. This is your, your video, coach. I know, I know. <laughs> this is bad. This is this is an admission that that I suck as a coach. Uh, that I'm just terrible. No, um, this, well, these are first days. Well, this like, is this is the stuff three that I years learned ago. today or yesterday or last week. I can remember that stuff. I didn't. I. How much knowledge could I have had of the first day? There's so many details, right, that I didn't right. pay attention to, which now a lot of it is obvious. An underhook, right. Is it a shallow underhook? Is it a deep underhook? Back in the day, I wouldn't. there's no way I could have remembered all those details. Wow. Okay, so Brian, what, what, what's your... Okay, give me the best move that you do that I taught you. Oh, 200%. Okay, show it to me. All right. Go for a single leg or a double leg. Single leg or double leg. Go. Okay. So I go underhook, and then I grab here, and I sit back. And I can either, if they, I can go crucifix. So you like going crucifix. Crucifix or um, back. So if they, they try to come in, like oh, you can't way. go that way. Other way. You put the hook in, and then you take the back. Okay, 200%. I know that one pretty well. So, yeah. That's cool. So that works really well for you. Do you think how much of it do you think is based on your ability because of your the, your body type, your build, your flexibility? Uh, I don't know. You don't know? I watched your video like a couple weeks after I started here and I just have used it just hit. Out of it it just hit. It works on big guys, small guys, it works on people yeah. like double my size. Okay. So that's a good move. So there you guys, you guys go. How much do you weigh, Brian? Uh, like 145. 145. So you can do it to guys that are like 200 plus. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think it depends you'd... on how. Yeah. Okay. And then uh, what's your favorite move? My favorite, favorite move? move. So we did first move. That didn't maybe go as well as I wanted it to. <laughs> Let's try favorite move. I've got, a, I've got a few personal favorites. Okay, show me. Um, and one of them is from half guard. I was actually doing it with Brian today while we were sparring. So uh, he's on his back and I'll be in the top of half guard. And what I'm gonna want to do is I'm gonna want to obviously clear and get all the way to here. What I want is the cross face and then to walk this side over until I get my knee through. And if he tries to stop me, I'm gonna try to Trap this arm and I gotta pinch real tight and then I'm gonna go for the punch choke here. Okay, that's sweet. And his, his guard retention was so good, I, I couldn't get to the, the choke with enough security here. So he kept getting me back out, but I kept working for it. And eventually I'd work from this position still and I'd try to stabilize and work out to an Americana. But of course, there's a lot of possibility to get swept here. So I, I had to be real careful with it. Yeah, okay. And you said there was more than one? Yeah. So, so there's that, the, the Ghost Escape, which is a, a pretty recent video series you did, but the Ghost Escape is awesome. It works in, in MMA, it works in, against big guys, it works against small guys. Okay, I like sure. to use it especially against big guys because they smash me to no end. And I know I'm a little bigger now, I'm like 160, but I was, I was Brian's weight 145 like two months ago. Okay, show me the, show me the ghost. So Thanks. what do you do? So, wanna, so I'm, I'm, I'm kind of testing you guys, you know. I want to see your technique. I want to see what you learn. I'm going to you know? be on the bottom of side control. And I'm going to use this hand here to hold right by his armpit. And I'm going to pinch my elbow in so that I make sure he can't pull my uh, elbow up to my chest to arm bar me, right? He'll usually try to pull it up, this one, onto my chest to spin around an arm bar. So I don't want that to happen. And so I got to pinch it real tight here. And then I gotta bridge a little bit in some cases to get my hand through here. Yeah. And then once I do, I gotta block his mount. Because he might try to mount me from here if I'm real easy with this. And then I lost over here. So I gotta bring it up real strong to stop him. And I'm gonna walk, walk, and if I have to, kick. Let yeah. I get out to the front headlock. Yeah. And then if he follows me, I can tip him over and I can maybe even put him in a, put him in a crucifix. There's all kinds yeah. of cool stuff from that. So you're using you're using that same little kicking wiggle thing that, oh, yeah. I, that I do. Yeah, I, I'm I don't, a big fan. I don't really uh, again. I don't have a good name for that move, but <laughs> it's a it's an awesome uh, movement that everyone should know how to do, just so they can get out of spots sometimes. Because yeah. sometimes you try to walk, you're like walking, 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 and you, as you saw with him, like 
I can't just walk my way out of it. He's got so much yeah. pressure and he's so tight on me. I have to kick to get myself out. Yeah. And it really works out. I use that a lot for deep half guard as well. Yeah. Hey, let, let me let me show that. Let me show that. Here's that that little kick. Okay. So I get I get in here. Guys on the bottom. He's kind of cross facing. Once I get here and I'm trying to come out, the guy's kind of holding me tight. I use my core and I I kick my legs like this, and it just jostles it loose. Just go ahead and like hang on to me if you can. And I get my way out of there. And you know, just a very different way to get out for the ghost. <laughs> you know, it's like it's like you take your legs, you kick. I do like a double kick, and that makes my hips move. And that makes my hips, hips move, I don't want to kick you. Here you go. Such an odd <laughs> movement, you know, I guess uh, not just the, the hip escape going down the floor. Maybe I gotta get you guys to, you know, do that little double kick, wiggle your hips, you know, and go down. So, okay, so what was today's lesson? Here, come here, Brian. Just join me. Today's lesson was, as a coach, like, I need, to, I need to get you guys to, like, show me what you know. You know, it's not, like, too often I'm dictating everything to you guys. I'm telling you what to do. You know, I'm saying do it like this. And you guys almost never get a platform to do teaching. Now, Leo, behind the camera, you do get that because he works with our youth program. So he gets to transfer the knowledge to someone else. But how often do you get to transfer the knowledge? Not very often at all. You know, maybe, maybe you know, um, a white belt in class asked you, you know, how do I do this or that? And you might show them. But I think if I do this kind of test for the students, you guys will get like a lot of experience a lot of, you know, it'll challenge you to see what you know, you know, and actually uh, I think we all can learn more and find out maybe we're missing little details. Maybe our footwork is a little bit off and we need to fix it, you know, and uh, that's how we can all improve. So I think it's a good lesson. Even me right now, I'm going, it's not the first time I've ever known about this, like this style of teaching. Um, you know, it's common that we always say like, if you want to get better at something sometimes, just teach it to someone else, and that actually helps you. A lot of black belts, the moment they get their black belt and they start teaching, they start realizing how much they didn't really know. They maybe could perform the moves when it's live grappling and, and spar or even compete, but then the moment that they have to transfer the knowledge to someone else, they start to realize, ooh, I don't kind of know all the details, and then they figure it out as they go, guys, I am doing that all the time. Everyone thinks I know, they always say I know everything. I don't know everything. I do know a lot, but it's because I spent so much time transferring knowledge to others, working through the problems and all the, the, the kinks. So, interesting, huh? What do you guys have to say? Are we done? Is that all we're gonna give everybody today? Is that it? Anything, Leo? Unless you wanna do a move. I, I mean, guys, this is... I mean, those were, how many moves was that? I don't know, I just showed a bunch of moves, but, um, all I can say is let's, let's leave with this message because I know you got to go and I'm, I'm keeping you here and you've also got to go, don't you? So um, I, I dragged these guys here for a little bit longer and then we got stuck on this, this whole dinner. subject for a chicken dinner. So um, <laughs> guys out there in Teach Me Grappling land, thank you guys so much for subscribing and uh, liking this video, hopefully. Share it with your friends. And uh, I guess the lesson is See if you can teach the moves you know. Show them to the, your, doesn't matter who. Just show them to someone. See if you can teach it and educate it. Uh, educate someone else with, with the skills that you, you think you understand. And then you might find out something. You might learn something. Just on the footwork. You might even just say it in a certain way, a certain way that can help them. But really what's going on, you're teaching yourself. Digesting. And that's, yeah. It's digesting, it's downloading too. You know, I always say it's, it's a download. I finally download the, 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 the information, fully download it once I can teach it. You know, otherwise it's just kind of floating around. And uh, maybe I can do it during live rolling, but now I can do it, you know, 
in front of someone helping them do it. So it's a whole nother thing. All right, guys. Teach me grappling. Thank you so much, Brian. Leo behind the camera. Mm. Wave goodbye to everybody. All right. Thank you, guys. Please hit like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys tomorrow with another great video. See ya. <laughs> All right, we, we, I, I, I didn't let him go home, guys. We, we're, <laughs> we're back, we're back. Nice. So, so Bri, you don't, you don't like the duck under? No, I don't. You don't like the duck under? I don't like the duck under. So, do it from different ups, ups so hit your little pass by, slide by. It's not bad. It's nice. I like it. And then now you go to your duck under. Hit hey, your duck under, because you like the duck under. Uh, let's evolve. Nice duck under. Good. Try again. Uh, okay, good. We've got to kind of get our head up and, and body in tight. Also, I would say use better types, like use an inside tie over on this grip. Right here. Use an inside tie. Nice. Now go ahead. Feel more control? I got my hand stuck there for a second. Oh, you got your hand stuck? Yeah. Well, pull down. I think it's because I'm not used to doing it pull, from the... Pull, pull down on this. Go ahead. See that control? Oh, yeah. Good. Go ahead, try again. Okay, good. Um, not bad. Not bad. Um, Try to pull. Here, can you hold the camera real quick? Mm -hmm. Okay. See right here? I mean, there's different footwork. But like when I go, oh, yeah. see how I'm pulling this down and my head, I'm looking this way. Now my left hand, whether you split the legs or you're coming around, I prefer this grip the most right here. And then that way you can just like lean on the guy, drive my knee into his knee, bring him down to his knee. And then finish. So try one more time. Helping these guys out. Let's get them better. Pull down on the arm. Yeah. Nice. Good. But your head, I want your head to go more into his armpit. So go slow. Go slow. Instead of fast. Duck under. Good. Now feel your head. Look. 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 Yeah. Look this way. Yeah. Nice. Do you feel that pressure? Good. Now let's go over the top of the arm. You can lock underneath. No, no, not that two on one. Just go on the outside. And then now slide the wrist and then bring your head to this side. Now he can't elbow your face. So now it's the trips are super easy. You can do front trip. Yeah, I don't go in the back. You can do front trip like that. Uh, there's many ways I do it, but I use the inside of my knee on the side of his knee. I buckle his knee in as I shift. As I shift, you see how that works? And then I also stick my leg out so that I don't have to uh, put my knee on the ground. Like this is what I would do on concrete. Yes, exactly. And that way I don't have to get my pants dirty. <laughs> Shouldn't be getting in fights anyway. Okay. <laughs> so, all right, one more time. Show me your slide by. Because he doesn't like duck under. He likes slide by or pass by. Head up. Good. Nice. Clean. Let me get another. Oh, that's nice. Good. Let me get another angle of that. Go ahead. I want to get this angle. Nice. Over to that side. Good. I'm probably a terrible cameraman. <laughs> nice job buckling the knee. Do you guys feel that? Okay, one more duck under. Just one more duck under for Leo. And then we're absolutely done. No, no, yeah, good. Don't push with the back of your head. Turn your head. So turn your head that way. Good. That's a huge difference and a huge detail. Nice. Good. And then you see your leg is based out. Very good. One more duck under. <laughs> one more duck under. This time, again, look, get, that, get that look. So when you duck, look. Yes, good. Sweet. All right, guys. Thank you so much. We're going to tack that on in the video. 
All right, guys, take it easy. Teach me grappling. See you next time. Okay, let's. Yeah, we got you guys. We're back. You're gonna video we're, us learning now. Yeah, we're 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 still we're still arguing. Not arguing, but we're still going over these techniques. Go ahead. Show me again, Brian. The original move. So, okay. So it was mount. It was a mount escape, right? Like maybe an attack. So. So. You're doing a mount escape. Okay. So you get your butterfly hook and you capture. You got double shin on one side. Yeah. Right. So. So you're saying lift? Yes, go under. under huh? So you go under. So let me see this. Right? So now you're under with that. Now try to hike that up if you can. Hike it up to your... There you go. And again, this is much like X guard, except you've got two shins on one side. See that? you got two shins there. Now go ahead. Just kind of rock him up and then send him away from you. Nice. You feel that? Yeah. And then you got your pass going. So I think that that was the move you were thinking of. I don't and, remember that underhook, but I do. So show me, show me again what you think you remember from your first time. So I remember <laughs> your first day was a lot more complicated. Huh? <laughs> Dude, it was not an easy first day. Um, <laughs> so you get that in. So what do you think you remember? Go ahead. So you were getting both, and then you were bringing this foot in. Right. And causing him to fall. And cause him to fall right there, but why would he fall? Because you're pulling so, that. Right, that but if, if, if you get up, and I'm not, I don't want you guys to get in a full-on fight right now, but like, just give a little bit of balance, Leo, leaning forward. Why would he fall if you get up, Leo? Go ahead, try again. If you just lean forward. No, no, just drop your left knee. Keep your balance and just lean on him. Can you make him fall without underhooking that? Not now. Yeah. And so now his, his pressure's too much on my knee. But I think originally when you popped me up, I was still on two feet. Yeah. So you didn't have the underhook, but I was still up. Do on you, do you see X guard? See, do you see how that's also a viable option? Yeah. So that's good. And now go ahead and go back to double shin. So we go double shin on one side. And now you basically, almost like an X guard sweep, just go ahead and lift, double, double lift and lift him up above you to rock him, and then now send him. Beautiful. I like that a lot more. <laughs> yeah, so <laughs> I, again, I could be wrong. Like maybe, maybe I'm crazy, but that's what I would have shown. In my, like, remember, I, I probably have a better memory just because, <laughs> just because these are the moves that, you know, like I've, I've been teaching for many, many years. It's not something I just learned. Well, and it was but, yeah, first day. And your first day, and then you, you there's omissions. You, you, you omit like one little detail and then the move kind of like falls apart. And then now we're three years later and we're, we're filling in a little bit of gap. Yeah. You know, filling in the gap. So, all right. <laughs> Is this the, the end of the video? Yeah, it's bedtime now. Okay. All right. Everybody's got to go to bed. I need my chicken, chicken dinner. dinner. <laughs> all right, guys. We got to go later. Have a good one. <laughs> Hey John, Fuck. hey John. Is it gonna lose its carbonation? Slightly, yeah. Talk to me. Only John. about seventy-three percent. Talk to me, John. Energy, energy. Am I am I crazy, John? <laughs> uh, I think you're a unique individual. Would I say crazy? Yes. We're gonna lean. Let you spectrum. Borderline, borderline crazy. Uh, <laughs> what's the other word for crazy or something like deranged? I'm leaning more towards deranged. <laughs> <laughs> little psychotic crazy is for like a normal person but brian peterson like eh, this guy's a fringe. fringe right here like i don't know like if we still had our psych wards i don't know we might just give him a nice little compound with some mats and then we'd be all right but he's okay he's not a bad guy he's a good guy he's halfway decent uh, uh, guys let john have it you guys know i'm not i'm not yeah, I'm not, yeah. I'm not crazy. <laughs> <laughs> energy, energy. <laughs>